Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins at JD Cutlery throwing together another quick video on some of the new Zero Tolerance product that's come out this year. They have uh, added a number of new knives to the uh, lineup and uh, honestly everyone I've seen so far has really been another work of art. So. Let's go ahead and jump in on this one. Uh, those of you that have been following uh, Zero Tolerance to see what's coming out next, know that this is the ZT0850. And this one is especially different uh, because you have two custom collaborators on this one knife. And then uh, Zero Tolerance got the opportunity to go ahead and produce it for them. So you are looking at a Todd Rexford uh, Dmitry Sinkovich design. Um, they came out with a custom collaboration that they did, uh, I believe it was last year. And uh, after they did that, they did go ahead and uh, give Zero Tolerance the opportunity to go ahead and make it a production run. Um, very, very nice knife. As you can see, I've done the five of them that I have up, a uh, little different twist on each one. Um, I'll go ahead and run through the basic specs on each of the knives as we go through. Um, starting off, you are looking at uh, a CPM 20 CV blade. Um, it is another one of the uh, powdered steels. Um, supposed to be comparable with the M390, so it'll be interesting. I haven't had a whole lot of experience with this one myself. But I can tell you one thing, these things are sharp as all get out. Um, overall, let's see, the blade length on it is 3.75 inches. Closed length is 4.95 inches. Overall length, you're looking at 8.7 inches. So it's a good size knife. And it's coming in at 4.3 ounces. Um, definitely very light for the size of the knife has a lot to do with the fact that you've got your carbon fiber handles um, and aluminum backspacer, aluminum thumb, thumb stud, then you're jumping into the titanium lock bar as well as the pocket clip. Well, let's go ahead and pull them off to the side real quick and we'll go through one by one. I'll kind of hit the different features as we go. Out of the way, let's start off with this one here. So, carbon fiber on this is a mix. It's a blue and a uh, gray, like your t standard carbon fiber. Go ahead and adjust this light just a little bit, getting a lot of glare. Um, so, you got the blue and the uh, the black to gray carbon fiber. Very striking in person. They've done a nice flat here and they've given it just a little bit of texture in the cutout areas. Both the top and the bottom. Um, all the hardware on this uh, comes is steel as far as screws go. Uh, they come a uh, bead blasted on the pivot and then all black on the screws that hold your gray aluminum backspacer in. Very interesting backspacer. Not one you're going to be able to copy or modify. Kind of a circular cylinder. Really nice cutouts giving it some definite uh, feel as far as uh, looking different, um, not square. Really, I was impressed by the design on this. That cylinder with the carbon fiber cut out to uh, fit the cylinder and they did a nice job of milling it out to give it a little different look. Pocket clip and the lock bar are both uh, titanium. Um, as you can see, they have gone after the patent. I'm not going to go into details about all the patent issues and that type of thing, but uh, they put the patent number 
right there on the uh, lock bar. Um, you do have a steel lock bar insert held in by a steel screw. Um, interesting thing, this whole piece ties all the way in down here. It is all titanium. You've got a very thin piece that's kind of coming through here. You actually have two screws that are under the pocket clip that you can't really... Well, there you go. If you look in there, you can see those two screws. Those two screws anchor through the carbon fiber into the tail end of the titanium, probably about eh, around two centimeters from the end. If you are one that takes your knives apart, be very careful with these. If you were to over tighten those, you would pull the threading right out of that titanium lock bar and you would lose some of the stability that you need there to keep this nice and secure. The pocket clip also has two, uh, two of your uh, Torque, Torque 6 uh, screws in them. They are longer than the backspacer screws. They also tie into the tail end of this uh, lock bar. So very nice design. I like that they've, they've cut it out, given it some different lines. Got that nice little chamfer cut in there. Just overall a really sharp looking knife. So there's your CPM 20 CV 0850 Sinkovich Rexford, Rexford design and this one is 645. Again thumb stud which is held in by another torque screw is aluminum as well as the backspacer. Man, I wish it was titanium, but uh, you know how it goes. So we did uh, high voltage blue on the titanium components, buffed out the rest of the hardware, gave it a nice shiny look, and uh, these things are great. They open very nicely with your thumb. As with any other frame lock style knife, make sure you don't have your fingers on the lock bar as you go to open it. As long as you have your fingers tucked away, that thing will open smooth as butter every time. Give it a flip with the thumb, she's going all day long. Um, the blade is running on a nice pivot system, a very different new pivot. I really like some of the additional details that they're doing this year. This side, we don't have any Torx head. Uh, the handle has a little rectangle shape that is built into the pivot so the pivot slides in, locks into place right in the carbon fiber and then you only have the Torx head on the one side. So definitely stepping up the game with the machining, putting these things together beautifully. This blade is just crazy. I love the look of this thing. You have a two-tone stone wash here so you get the stone wash in the flat and a nice satin finish um, in the blade. And yeah, it is a very neat little design. I like that swoop up and almost gives it a bird bill feeling. I am going to go ahead and pop one of these back apart, take that thumb stud off, and just do a little bit of file work right here. I think if I throw a little bit of a pattern right in here, that'll make it pop just one, one notch higher. So I am going to go ahead and do that on one of these. I am a little interested in how this uh, blade steel is going to react to a file. Might be quite the job. Might be a lot more work than it's, uh, than it's worth to do that. But this is the high voltage blue uh, with the polished hardware. Very nice piece. To give you a, a comparison, the high voltage blue is much lighter than the lower voltage blue. And I went ahead and buffed the hardware again and heat anodized it to give you a little bit of bronze, a little extra color to make her pop. Again, flips like a champ. Um, the, the blue here is nice and dark. We've already kind of fingerprinted it up a little bit. Um, 
very nice looking. It's a pretty close match to the blue and the carbon fiber. So pardon the fingerprints there. Again, wipe a little Windex on, dry her off, and your blue is popping all over again. And uh, there you can see the detail again on the patent. Very sharp looking knives. I like that blue a lot. Tried to tie it into the carbon fiber. The bronze gives it a little extra pop. And again, keep your fingers off the lock bar. Opens no problem with the thumb. Flips with the thumb. Nail, not a problem as well. So, another beauty. Um, let's see, next color. Went ahead and hit it with a nice green. Green's looking good with that blue carbon fiber. Again, buffed everything out. Those pivots just buff out so nicely. I was really happy with that. The fact that they didn't bead blast that so heavily that you couldn't buff it was really nice because it you can have that uh, slightly muted uh, feel that it comes with or you hit that sucker with a buffer and it really makes a difference. I had one customer that had me buff the heads of the screws quite some time ago and uh, as you can see on a lot of my knives I continue to do it. It gives it that extra little bit of life. Um, these guys all center up pretty nicely. Some of them tend to be just a slight bit on the side but uh, but uh, they're nice again. Flips out with the thumb flip no problem with the thumb action and the and the circular motion just fine and that is your nice green and for those of you that like the muted colors I'm actually really partial to this and I am not really a fan of dark knives you know me the most color I can get into it the better hit this one with a nice bronze left all the screws black and then I didn't buff the pivot on this one. I just heat anodized it and gave it a bronze feel. And man, that sucker is sharp looking. I love this one. This one really, really looks nice with that bronze. Got a feeling I'll be doing a couple more like this. I would imagine this one's gonna sell pretty quick. But uh, we will wait and see. Uh, these will all be posted sometime this week running a little behind I have got so many knives sitting here it's not even funny um, got a bunch of ZTs coming in this week had an order come in today have a order another order coming in tomorrow we are going to be adding some uh, lanyard work to the website um, my daughter is going to be doing most of that so we're going to give her the opportunity to uh, make her way to cover the insurance for the new car that we just got her this weekend. Nice little 01 Honda Prelude. Beautiful little car, but uh, it's time for her to start uh, earning some money so she can get out on the road. But again, this bronze, fantastic looking. Centered up pretty nicely. Lock up on all these is uh, pretty good. You're probably about 40% on that. Um, again, thumb action, no problem. Flip it with thumb. That bronze really looks good on this knife. I am really happy with the way that looked. I was a little surprised. I was like, eh, I'll throw one bronze out because the bronze actually almost makes the carbon fiber look a little bronze. So it, it kind of did a little bit of a little bit of an illusion on it because it's not actually bronze, but it kind of, I guess it, it does have a bronzish look to it. I would have said it was more gray before, but once you put it next to that bronze hardware, it really makes it look like bronze and blue. So very interesting. Listen to that thing lock up, man. Boom. Locked in with that nice steel lock bar insert. Does have a tab that goes into the carbon fiber, so you've got the over travel. 
um, that will make sure that you can't over travel and do damage to the end of the lock bar. Okay, so we'll save the color for the last. And you know me, got to throw one out that's got to be pushing the envelope with some color. Did a crazy fade, nice gold into purple into blue into green and of course buffed out all the hardware turned out pretty good uh, matches up nicely uh, where the pocket clip overlaps the uh, the lock bar uh, the color really does match pretty nicely and then into the gold um, so real happy with the way that looked um, definitely for me it's a tie between the bronze and the crazy fade um, just because I am so partial to a lot of color kind of why I got into all this taking uh, your nice high-end zero tolerance knives built for some heavy-duty use and giving them that nice custom twist with the color not really doing anything not sacrificing anything structurally or integrity integrity wise just adding some color, giving it some pop, giving you the custom feel on a fantastic factory knife. Well, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it on this video. There will be a couple more videos coming out this week. Um, I've got uh, a number more zero tolerance knives coming in. A lot of the uh, standard, standard models, pretty much a little bit of everything coming that way. Um, just sitting on pins and needles waiting for the next, uh, the next new model to come my direction. Uh, I did get them ordered early enough that I seem to be getting them a little quicker than a number of people. So definitely very happy about that. My mistake, only ordered five of each one to start. Next year will be a much different bet. Um, they pretty much, each model has sold out within either the weekend that I put them out or one week all five of them are gone quick so demand is nice on them at this point uh, fantastic knives uh, the, the demand should be there for quite some time to come this collaboration between Rexford and Sinkovich is a beauty nice solid knife and uh, like I said there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out we will have a little bonanza of uh, Riot knives I have my first future all finished up sitting on the side over here, but uh, this is a ZT video, so it doesn't get to slide in. Well, thank you for uh, tuning in, and we will see you on the next one.